Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we'll talk about the column widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. Column is the layout widget that displays its children in the vertical array. Now to understand this one, let's jump for some example. On the screen, we have two different text, then we have some text field, then we have the button, again we have some text field. So all these widgets are arranged in the vertical manner that is in the form of vertical array. So if you want to create this kind of layout structure in your page or in your design, then all these widgets must be placed as the children of column. We have simple Flutter application code written here that contains model app, scaffold, that contains app bar and as a body of scaffold, let me use the object of column. So let's use here column. Now basically for this column, we have the property called children. Now this children requires the list of widgets. It means it's possible to have multiple widgets in the column. So let me use three different containers inside this column. So let me use first container. So we'll write here container. And for this container, let me use some width. So in this case, I will use say width of 50 pixel. Let's use some height, say the height of 80 pixel. Then let me specify some color here. So I will use say color called, let's say colors dot blue. Change it to blue. Let me remove this comma. I had another comma here. Let me copy the container and let me paste it twice. So for this second container, let me change width to say 100 pixel and here let me change it to say 30 pixel. Let's change the color of this second container to let's say green. And the last one I want as say orange. Let me save it. I can see we have got total three containers the blue, green and the orange one. Now let's understand what we mean by main axis and the cross axis for the column. So in case of column, the axis that we have that is this y axis or you can say the vertical axis. This axis is basically called main axis and the another axis that is the y axis or you can say the horizontal axis. So in case of column, this axis is known as the cross axis. Basically, when we want to align your children in the main axis, we would use the value called main axis alignment. And in order to align them in the cross axis, that is with respect to y axis, we would use property called cross axis alignment. Let me use the property called main axis alignment so that we can align our children with respect to main axis, that is with respect to y axis. So for this, we have to pass the value in the form of main axis alignment. So let me use your start. Basically, start indicates your elements, or that is your children are aligned at the start with respect to y-axis. Let me use end, and you can see these three children, that is these three containers, are now aligned at the end. Let me use center here. So these three containers will be aligned at the center of the screen, that is center of this y-axis. Let me use the value called space between. So when we use space between, these children will try to have space between them. When we use the option called space around, they will try to have the equal space around them. When we use the property called space evenly, they will try to have even space among them. Let me use the property called cross axis alignment. For this cross axis alignment, we have to pass the value in the form of cross axis alignment dot, let's say the start, end, and so on. Basically, using the cross axis alignment, we can align our children with respect to the x axis, that is, with respect to the horizontal axis. Let me use start here, and now you can see by default they are aligned in the center with respect to cross axis. When I save it, they are aligned with respect to cross axis at the starting position. Let me change it to end, and you will also hear they are aligned at the end with respect to cross axis. Let me use option center, which is the by default one, and now they are aligned in the center with respect to cross axis. We have the option called stretch that will stretch the children for the as much as space available in the cross axis. Let me explain the property called vertical direction. Before that, let me comment both these lines. And now I will use this property called vertical direction. Basically using this vertical direction, we can control which child to display first. That is whether to display first child at the top or to display it at the bottom. So for this, we have to pass the object in the form of vertical direction so let me use here down so when we use down you can observe here we have the first container with color blue the green and the orange and you can see here we have the blue green and the orange container that is we have the same sequence of children here 
Now instead of this down, if I change it to say up and when I save it, you can observe now this container called blue is at the end, then we have the green container and at the end we have the orange container. Let me explain property called main axis size. So for that, let me comment out this one. And in order to understand this one in a better way, we need to wrap this column inside the container. So let me wrap it inside the container. And for this container, let me apply some color so that we can understand whether it is getting the minimum size or not. So let me use your color and I will pass some color here. Let's say I will use your colors dot gray. Let me save it. Let me use the property called main axis size. And for this main axis size, we have two different options main axis size dot mean and the max. By default, we have the max. So let me change it to mean. And you can observe here this column will try to have as minimum space available for it. And when I change it to let's say max, it will try to get as maximum space available for it. That is, it will try to get the maximum space for this parent that is for this container. So let's save this. And you can observe here it is getting the space for this container. Let me explain a very important point related to container. In case of container, we don't have scrolling option. That is, when your children goes out of the space available, in this case, we'll get the error called overflow. So let me change this height to let's say 380, again say 380, then let's say 380. When I save it, you can see we are getting error for the bottom overflow. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I am explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.